Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about air mass. The air mass is one of the parameter we use in solar power generation calculations. So what is air mass means it is a relative distance between the solar sun and the solar panels. I mean relative distance between the sun and the solar panels. Okay, before understanding deeper into what is meant by air mass, let me tell you why we need these air mass indicators or a parameter. Let's see the standard test condition. We already teach you about standard test condition in previous videos. So standard test condition is a test condition where the solar panel manufacturers test this, the panels and certify the panels that these conditions my panel will perform at particular output watts 250 watts or 300 watts or whatever the value so in this standard test condition we know the cell temperature should be 25 degrees celsius and solar radiation should be 1000 watt per meter square and the last one is air mass should be 1.5 spectrum so we uh, put it am 1.5 so what is this means the manufacturer says that i manufactured the solar panels and i tested my panel in these three conditions in the in the controlled environment in that condition my panel produced 300 watts let's assume 300 watts so this is the measure with this is a standard we take from the manufacturers and we try to get the same scenario in our house rooftop if we get the same scenario in our house rooftop then we can get the same output usually we can't get the cell temperature 25 degree and we can't get the solar radiation 1000 watt per meter square all the time but we can get at least half an hour or one hour in a day in the peak sun hour time and air mass also we can't get 1.5 but we can get in some time okay when the sun is moving after studying you can understand when we can get the air mass 1.5 okay so now the purpose is clear why we are studying about air mass okay, let's move on the air mass is a relative distance so let's let's simply understand that if your sun is perpendicular to the solar panel you are putting your solar panels here so we all already study uh, taught discussed in previous videos that we always want the solar panels perpendicular to the sun if this solar panels is perpendicular to the sun then air mass is one is perfect we want this one we want the air mass one but we can't get all the time we cannot keep the sun perpendicular to the solar panel all the time but it is possible by rotating the solar panels i mean tilting the solar panels all the way in 180 degree it is possible but also in the night we can't get the air mass one okay so what is a, a, a point here that if the sun is moving from here to here now we can't it is not air mass one because there's an angle that we already taught you the zenith angle this angle is created here so now the panel is here the sun moved to here this is your sun moved to here so it is not is it, it, it is not recommended i mean we don't want because the distance you look at the the distance you know right this length is higher than the this length we want the shortest path for solar radiation to reach the earth so this is the shortest path if the solar radiation reach the earth this is the shortest path this is the longest path we don't want this longest path so this air mass is more than one maybe 1.4 1.3 something like okay so simple understanding like let's say if the sun is moved to this point here this is far away again the air mass is increased maybe increased to 1.6 because we are moving far away if let's say it goes until to this point 
okay this point air mass actually becomes zero because we cannot get any radiation because the solar panel is sitting here okay if it is like in the same level to the panel i mean we are getting solar radiation to the side of the panel we are not getting onto the panels solar panel so it means it's zero okay so now at the moment we understand the air mass level one is good that is when it is perpendicular to the solar panels okay let's move on at the end you will understand more detail okay so this is one is good 1.5 quite okay i mean we is not perfect but most of the cases we can achieve 1.5 that's why the manufacturers assume the 1.5 value so manufacturers test their panel at 1.5 because we practically can make 1.5 because by tilting our solar panels we can make it possible most of the times air mass we can keep the air mass at 1.5 level the two is not good not at all good increasing here is zero what is that means that's the only one new thing here if it is like horizontal mean you are putting the panel here somewhere the panel here and you're getting the radiation to this path okay your sun is here somewhere here i mean there's no use there's nothing so that's why the air mass is zero here is zero air mass is zero so you can simply understand that uh, if you put the proper uh, uh, i mean clear easy diagram this is your pv solar pv panels and if the sun comes to horizontal either this side or this side based on the countries where uh, your uh, the country is situated this is a solar radiation the sun is worst worst case scenario we don't we don't like to see the sun sitting like this because if if the sun is coming here we get nothing so air mass is zero the this position air mass is zero here also zero air mass is zero and if the sun is here we are extremely happy because it's perpendicular to the panel so air mass is 1 ms is 1 and if it is somewhere here or somewhere here that's a value like 1.5 or 1.6 or 2 okay this is a values are changing here so most of the case we are dealing with changing values okay here okay sun can change here the position based on the position the sun moment the values will change okay this is a air mass is a relative distance we simply understand this is a sort of distance okay when we move here this is a longest distance if we go to here is a longer distance actually i'm using this small space to draw that's why you can clearly understand from this picture you can understand this is a long distance this is a long distance compared compared to this one this is a perpendicular very quickly the solar radiation can reach but it take long time to reach so we don't like air mass to uh, level of 2 okay so we'll uh, go a quick uh, uh, review the air mass is measure of the path length that sunlight takes through earth atmosphere to reach the, a particular location on the surface it describe how much atmosphere the sunlight passes through which affect the amount of solar radiation and that reaches the ground so it actually describe how much atmosphere sun passes through okay how difficult the sun is to reach the panel simply understand if it is m as is 1 it is easy for sun solar radiation to reach the earth reach the panel if it is 2 it is difficult for the solar radiation to reach the panel okay so air mass uh, factor is determined by sun's angle um where's my mouse okay sun angle relative to the absorber so at sea level 
when the sun is directly overhead directly overhead that is a 90 degree perpendicular to the directly overhead mean perpendicular to the panel then the air mass is one we already explained but we just uh, uh, double confirm what we explain in the, written in the theory we, we usually do that always is not just explaining we explain and then double confirm that but i stated in the text so that is a good way of learning okay so the air mass 1.5 means as the sun moves lower to the sky sunlight passes through more atmosphere increasing scattering and absorbing by molecules and particles so when we move through the long path it can be scattered absorbed okay so through the path so for example at an angle where the sunlight uh, path is about 1.5 times longer than direct overhead path actually what is the mean mean direct path is a air mass one this is one level this is 1.5 times longer path if the sun is reaches here this is the meaning this is 1.5 times longer compared to let's say this is a this is b so when sun is moved to position b from a the uh, the difficulties become 1.5 times longer the path is 1.5 times longer than the position a so there is a meaning this is often used as a standard for solar energy measurement since approximate the typical condition at mid latitude so mid latitude most of the uh, cases most of the conditions mid latitude condition we can we can uh, obviously had get 1.5 air mass so 1.5 air mass is is quite okay to keep as a standard okay so this is a clear understanding so higher air mass value sunrise sunset sun is close to the horizon causing sunlight to travel much longer path through the the atmosphere which signal reduces the intensity okay higher air mass we don't like uh, air mass level of 2 or 3 we don't like it okay because uh, it take longer uh, longer distance okay air mass affects solar radiation as much atmosphere means greater absorption of and scatter reducing the sunlight intensity at the surface this is an important factor in solar power application climate science and atmospheric studies okay this is an important factor in many other areas like climate studies applications okay we come to the end of this uh, video so what why what is the purpose of this video means like uh, when someone says that air mass is 1.5 we had to we had to realize that what that means 1.5 so it is mean like it is 1.5 times more than the shortest path shortest path is always perpendicular to the panels if the sun solar radiation travel uh, perpendicular to the uh, solar panels or reaches perpendicular to the solar panels that is a shortest path so if the sun is moving uh, 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 from that sort of path then the difficulty level is increase difficulty is mean the path length is increase so the, the path uh, solar radiation has to travel is increase that's how much is increase we are measuring and uh, the 1.5 is a standard uh, air mass level uh, used and uh, accepted by manufacturers manufacturers testing their panel in this 1.5 levels so so what is that means like if we can keep that 1.5 level by tilting our solar panels because we are we can tilt our solar panels based on the sun movement okay there are um, automated system we can create by using a small motor to tilt our solar panels so if we can keep always we can maintain 1.5 air mass then our output value output power production will be high okay will be optimum as mentioned in <coughs> uh, by the solar power ma panel manufacturers okay thank you very much for this uh, watching this uh, video please subscribe and continue this uh, your support thank you see you in next video